challenges in using biomass conversion challenges in this section we will understand how different forms and varieties of biomass is both an opportunity and bring its unique set of challenges though there are multiple forms and varieties of biomass feedstock in general energy is stored in chemical bonds of various compounds such as carbohydrate lipid etc specific technology is employed to free the energy bound up in these chemical compounds some of the commonly used principles to release the stored chemical energy in the biomass they are direct combustion pyrolysis anaerobic digestion gasification alcohol fermentation landfill gas cogeneration direct combustion direct combustion refer to burning of materials in the presence of oxygen it is the simplest technology and may be very economical if the biomass source is nearby pyrolysis pyrolysis refers to the thermal degradation of biomass by heating in the absence of oxygen the temperature is increased up to 400 to 750 degrees celsius the process produces gases such as methane hydrogen and carbon dioxide fuel oils and charcoal in anaerobic digestion organic matter is converted into a mixture of methane and carbon dioxide biomass such as sewage manure or food processing waste is mixed with water and anaerobically digested in a digester tank to produce methane which is then used as biogas gasification gasification is the process of producing different gases through heating or anaerobic digestion syngas syngas is a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen and methane are two such examples alcohol fermentation in this method first the starch or the cellulose present in the biomass is converted to sugar and then this sugar is converted to alcohol by fermentation feed stocks such as wheat barley potatoes and waste paper sawdust and straw containing sugar starch and cellulose can be converted to alcohol by fermentation using yeast landfill gas landfill gas is generated by the decay of buried garbage in landfills this is mostly through anaerobic digestion when the organic waste decomposes it generate gas consisting of approximately 50% of methane which is the major component of natural gas cogeneration cogeneration is the simultaneous production of more than one form of energy using single fuel and facility biomass cogeneration has more potential growth than biomass generation alone because cogeneration produce both heat and electricity